We've been telling you for several weeks, residents want to fix up Mosquito Lake. They want to make changes to the master plan that hasn't been touched in decades. Tonight, the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers held a virtual meeting to get community input. And First News reporter Megan Lee listened in on the meeting. She has her top story at 10. Mosquito Lake is getting plenty of attention now that the Lake Committee wants to revitalize the area after years of neglect. The goal of Thursday night's meeting was to go over the master plan and get input from residents. So the last time um, we updated the Mosquito Creek Lake master plan was in 1994, so way overdue. Heather Wood, the master plan lead, says master plans are typically good for 20 to 25 years. This is necessary before any changes are made to the land. It projects what could and should happen over the life of the project, but remains flexible based on changing conditions. The master plan serves as an umbrella document. There are many different plans that fall under it. For example, there is a cultural resource management plan and an invasive species plan. We're always trying to balance um, recreational needs and desires, community needs and desires, along with protecting our valuable resources. During the meeting, the people in attendance were placed into breakout rooms to discuss various ideas they have for the Mosquito Creek Master Plan. One caller mentioned that the lake is in his backyard and he would like to see something worked on with sewage runoff. Another attendee mentioned they would like to see more winter activities incorporated. Maybe um, snowshoeing or ice fishing demonstration or something along that line. I think that would be great to kind of offer that to the public. The conversation didn't end at Thursday's meeting. The Mosquito Creek Lake staff said that anyone can reach out with more input at any time. In Trumbull County, Megan Lee, WKBN 27 First News.